Before leaving Phu Quoc we decided to hit up the Vin Wonders theme park. The name 100% matches this place. It's a magical fairy tale village in the middle of nowhere. Kinda like Disneyland, but Vietnamese. We would always pass it by while driving down the main road. You can spot a giant ferris will pop out of the distance. Then a beautiful fairy tale village. You probably wouldn't imagine that Vietnam would have such amazing amusement parks but they really are world class. Better than back home in Canada even. Tourist areas are always very spectacularly built in Phu Quoc. You can tell this is where they put all the money. It's such a contrast to the rest of the city. If only they put some of that money into building up the local areas of the city. I think it would greatly improve the experience of the island. This has been a very strange year, filled with many unique experiences. Tourism has been cancelled across the world so that means very little customers for businesses on the island. Every ride had no lines. Some rides, we were the only people on them. Not everything was open though understandably but still cost full price. Two tickets were 1.5 million dong or about $83 Canadian including the food upgrade. I suggest taking the 20% discount and buying your own food. I didn't really think it was worth it. Doesn't save you any money and the food was just okay tasting. Nothing special. The park comes in six distinctive areas. First is the European street. The entrance area is a magical little village filled with shops and street vendors. Since it's Christmas time they have the whole place nicely decorated with lights and a huge Christmas tree. Santa even came down to sell some beer. Who would have known Santa is actually Vietnamese? Next is the fantasy world. There's a breathtaking castle where you can play games inside. It was closed because of the times but still breathtaking to look at. Especially around sunset time just before the park closes. Adventure world is where you'll find all the rides. They have lockers to keep your stuff safe while you're swinging around at top speeds. You can't bring your phone, camera, sharp objects like swords or other dangerous items on the rides with you. Just in case you didn't know you shouldn't take your unborn child on a roller coaster. Good thing they made this sign to protect us from our own stupidity. The roller coaster was really unique. It goes up fast, then pulls back on speed just before going down, then drops you real fast. I think it was one of my favorite rides. It had me screaming my head off the whole time. I like how they realized it's not 1989 and offer a digital download for the photo. And the seashell which will be the new aquarium. It was still under construction at the time of this video. By the concept renderings it looks like it's going to be quite the spectacular place. Maybe I'll have to come back when it's done. I wouldn't mind doing a second tour of the island as I didn't have enough time to see everything here. They still had the old aquarium. It wasn't anything too special, just because I've been to so many aquariums around the world but the mermaid show was very interesting. Never seen a mermaid before, so that part was kinda cool. They captured three beautiful mermaids from Wonderland and had them dance around the tank for our entertainment. There was even a little underwater love story but everyone was too busy watching the show through their phones to notice. Seems like we love to see the world through our digital devices instead of real life. Or maybe everyone here has a YouTube channel and I have some serious competition for this video. I like the show but if I could offer a suggestion to Vin Group, I would ask for more comfortable seating. Not a huge fan of sitting in those little Vietnamese plastic stools. The entrance had some penguins, they didn't move much. I thought they were statues at first. They had a Nemo exhibit. Something I thought was kinda funny, clownfish in Vietnamese is Nemo. I wonder what came first. The movie or the Vietnamese word for this fish. I do really like these underwater tunnels. Feels like you're walking under the ocean. You can get some spectacular views of fish swimming back and forth. We met a new species of what I believe is a bottom feeder fish. It did seem quite intelligent. He even waved back at us. They had a guitar fish in a super tiny tank. I'm not sure if it was alive as it didn't move. Probably best that it wasn't. And I think I was this fish's favorite human by the look on his face. Next is the mysterious Viking village. Not exactly sure what was so mysterious about it but was a nice little area to explore. Lots of statues, some cool Viking architecture and some gardeners hard at work. The main attraction is this jungle gym extreme obstacle course. It starts off with a training ground where you'll learn how to clip yourself onto a wire for your safety. It's quite the time commitment and a great form of exercise so make sure to bring some water with you. This looks easy but it was probably our 100th try. The obstacle course progressively gets harder and you have to finish it as it's the only way down. There is a few zip lines that take you from one section to another. The last thing we were going to check out before we go was this ferris wheel. We thought this time would be perfect to watch the sunset. Unfortunately due to bad luck, just at this exact moment, 
There was a power problem and we didn't get to go on the ride. It's the largest will I have ever seen and I was really looking forward to going on it. Too bad, so sad. If you're looking for a great place to stay, right next to Vin Wonders theme park, look no further than the Vin Pearl Resort. It's not the cheapest option in Fuquat but is a nice balance between luxury and prime location. The price at the time was around 4 million dong per night. They have a beautiful pool area with inflatable animals to float on for children. It's a very child-friendly resort with lots of play areas. You can choose to stay in the hotel or one of their beautiful villas if you're looking for a more home-like experience. The beach area is quite nice and a great place to watch the sunset. They had this very romantic sign on the beach. All I dream about is one more sunset with you. They also have some very talented bartenders that put on a little show while they make drinks. It's not a busy time right now so I made a video of them practicing. It's within walking distance of both Vin Wonders theme park and the Vin Pearl Safari Park. I would suggest checking out the safari as it's the best zoo I have ever been to. I made a video about that as well so make sure to check it out after this one. There's also a casino called Corona next door. Not sure if they're going to change the name now that 2020 is over. Something funny about this place is as a foreigner I'm allowed to go in, gamble, lose all my money and become bankrupt. But Mary, since she is Vietnamese, needs to prove she has 10 million in the bank and drop a 1 million dong deposit just to go in. In Canada we call that racism but I guess they're just trying to protect their own citizens from gambling addiction. Fair enough. What's your favorite thing to do in Vietnam? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked my video please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you can also like the video or share it with your fellow travelers that would be great. Hopefully 2021 will be a more border friendly year.